Hey guys, welcome to day 173 of my carnivore journey. And just want to say that I hope you guys are having a good journey today as well. I hope everything's going good. If not, let me know about it in the comments. You know, again, we're here to help each other. So just wanted to give you an update on my day, of course, and how I feel, what I ate. And um, today I actually had a couple hot dogs again. You guys are starting to notice that I've been doing a couple hot dogs every day. Uh, I really need to to spend some time and uh, make some hard boiled eggs. <laughs> I really do, and I have a ton of eggs. I just really just need to spend a little bit of time. Maybe I'll try to do that this weekend, like on Sunday or something. I might try to make a batch of eggs. Uh, bought me a new egg container, actually, a Tupperware container for for my eggs. So I need to fill it up. Um, but I had a couple beef hot dogs, and then later for the evening, I ended up having a steak right here. I'll show you right here. So you can see I had a nice top sirloin. And this one, I just salt, just did salt. I've uh, been trying to get away from the spices a little more. Um, but man, it came out so good tonight. Um, just so good. And I put a couple of pats of butter on top when it, when it was resting. Just, just, you know, I didn't even cook it with butter. A little bit of bacon grease uh, in the iron skillet, but um, just enough, not a lot, just enough again, Little, like a tablespoon or so seared it all that you know the way i cook it anyways that's about it as far as what i ate today of course and i had my coffee with the iodine drops um feeling wise felt pretty good today remember i spent a couple days where my stomach was a little a knot in it kind of thing again i think i probably ate something bad a few days ago when it came to those uh, stupid hot dog or hamburger dogs so Again, that's the bad thing when you don't eat your own food. Sometimes you ingest something that probably isn't that good. But feeling good today. And um, my uh, my roommate moved down here. Um, so looking forward to, to you know, him uh, being here. And, of course, as I told you guys, he's going to be looking at starting the carnivore diet himself so and he's looking at vlogging so once he gets his blog going once he starts to diet well um, i'll let you know and you guys will have to go over and give him some love so uh, he's going to need a lot of encouraging and, and a lot of things like that too so um but i'm looking forward to his journey uh, i really am but anyways guys it's going to be a quick update tonight i'm not going to really get into a whole lot i do want to talk a little bit about um the process uh and because these are some things I was thinking about over the last, because, you know, I'm, I'm coming up on my uh, six month mark in pretty much a week. And so one is trusting the process. And, and that really is, you know, as you go through this journey, there's a lot of things that said, a lot of things that can be a little scary, but I, I really, I committed and I really stuck it out. And in the end, the reward is coming through and all those fears, all those things that I was worried about in the very beginning, a lot of that I'm, I'm able to overcome and I'm happier now. And my, my daily feel good, you know, just the everyday feeling pretty solid, um, just, just being on so much more of a, of a, of a new way of feeling every day versus before when I was on the sad diet, you know, the standard American diet, um, having bloating or just uncomfortableness or just tired, lethargic, you know, uh, just, just crappy feelings off and on. I mean, yeah, it felt good to eat those nasty foods, those tasty poisons, because, you know, you had that endorphin rush and they're designed to taste so good and addictive. Um, so of course you would get the, almost like a drug hit, you know, but here I am now, the feeling overall is so much better. But the process is really working out. Um, so I, I just would tell people, hey, trust in the process. And also one other thing I just wanted to cover real quick is, you know, you got to have your own journey. So, you know, when you start out, you don't want to just dive right into like just eating meat and salt and water. Okay. Don't dive into like a lion diet right away. You know, I mean, again, it, some people transition with like keto, but if you're really not into like 
vegetables at all, then you can start right into carnivore, but maybe like a dirty carnivore. You know, you don't have to be perfect at it. You know, start out dirty if you have to. Have some cheese, have like the dairy, you know, have the things that are considered dirty carnivore. And then as you go along, you'll naturally start to probably clean a lot more of that up. You'll have less chicken, you'll have less like pork, you know, you still might eat bacon, but you're going to have less of some of these other things, less cheese, less, you know, the, the dairy. You'll, st you'll slowly start to wean those off because your body's going to just tell you and you'll just feel better and better eating the meats, you know. Um, and, and like I said, you'll see. But but don't stress about jumping right into because, you know, you might be watching videos of people that have been doing this for six months or a year or a lot longer than yourself, maybe. And you can't really jump right into their routine. I mean, you could technically, but don't overwhelm your body that much. You know, be be dirty carnivore and then start weaning it down. But you'll you'll wean it down naturally. But anyways, guys, that's all I really had. Like I said, quick update today. So if you guys like my content, again, subscribe if you haven't. Click like, share this. And guys, don't forget about allcarnivoreinfo.com. In fact, I'm even wearing the shirt tonight. All right, I've been, you know, but don't forget about that, guys, please. Um, that You guys have been amazing. I've been uh, adding more and more stuff to it each day. I try to at least hit it up every day or every other day. I try to add something new. So, and you guys have been helping me to build that. I've been getting emails every once in a while. But again, I still don't want you guys to forget. So if you're out there and you see something that you want to add to the website, hit me up in the, in the email, uh, contact me, send me the link. All right, guys, that's all I had. We'll see you guys tomorrow for day 174. All right, bye.